I'm Jerry Herbst, and we're getting down to the brass tacks and hard facts of the floor below them. The floor below nozzle is primarily designed for wind-driven events in a high-rise setting. One where we need to get water on the fire floor in a high-rise operation where we can't gain access to the fire floor. We're talking about a situation where we're above the reach of traditional master streams on aerial apparatus and we can't access from an adjoining structure. The unit's quite simple. It's an angled pipe so that we can actually apply from the floor below up through the window on the fire floor. It's a two-piece unit primarily designed so if we need to get into an elevator to access the operational area, we can do so with two pieces. It's easily operated by two members. We'll stretch off with a two and a half inch line into the inlet on the appliance. Once we're charged, the members will actually utilize the corners of the window to try and place the stream onto the fire floor based on what they see on the floor below. In many cases, if it's a single room fire, a lintel hit will have a very positive impact. If we need to get deeper, that's where we're gonna use a spotter from the outside and start angling the stream, utilizing the corners of the window to apply the stream based on what we see on the floor that we're operating on. It's a specific corner or a room or an access hallway on the floor that we're operating on. We can assume it very well may be that way on the fire floor. And at that point, we can get directional capability with the stream utilizing the spot. With maximum water application, we utilize an inch and an eighth tip, which is a 265 GPM tip at 50 PSI. The objective here, regardless of whether you're on a pre-93 or post-93, you're gonna take available outlet pressure with a large orifice and put as much volume as you possibly can onto the fire floor.